This is Dave Palumbo with RxMuscle.com. I'm here at the 2010 NPC Junior Nationals. I'm here with our men's super heavyweight champion, Dusty Hanshaw. Congratulations on the super heavy win. Appreciate it. Thanks. I know you were a little disappointed going into that overall. A lot of people in the, the crowd, the press, uh, all thought you were going to take this overall. You were the biggest guy on stage by quite a bit. What'd you weigh in? 262. I know uh, the guy, uh, Matt Loud, I think it was like 206 or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Um, was it disappointing for you not to win that overall? Uh, yeah, I was a little surprised, but I mean, you know, it's kind of an apples to oranges thing. I think Matt has a nice tapered physique. You know, he was, he was real hard, so it is what it is, bodybuilding. Let's talk about that super heavyweight class, because that was no pushover either. You had some real good guys in that class that pushed you to the, to the limit. Um, what do you think ultimately decided the, uh, your fate in your favor? Um, I think the big thing was overall conditioning, and then uh, we did a lot of work from the back to make sure that that conditioning showed through on the back double, the rear lat, you know, a little more. What you're talking about is Chris Aceto. You yes. work with Chris Aceto. Him and I were texting each other on and off the whole night, and uh, we both thought you were better tonight. What did you do to fill out over the course of the last several hours? Uh, basically Basically, we just uh, we ate a bunch more potatoes and uh, stayed away from water as much as I could the rest of the day. So you did fill out. You looked significantly harder. I thought that would pr might have pushed you over the edge in that overall. Um, are you disappointed? Yeah, I mean, you know, we do the shows to win, but uh, you got to take what you're going to get and uh, just uh, use it in the gym next time. What are you going to use this for? What show are we going to see you at next? Uh, we're going to do the USA's next. I want to kind of see how I can hang with the best of the best, and then from there, probably take about a year, year and a half to uh, continue filling out with Chris. Well, there's only four. There's four pro cards that given out at the USA this year. So if you win your weight class, there's a very good chance you'd get that. How do you feel confidence-wise going into that show? I feel great. I mean, we got we have six more weeks to, to make the adjustments. This is Chris and my first show together, so we'll make sure we nail the conditioning and the fullness uh, for both nights that time. Speaking of Chris, Chris, come over here a second. Got your trainer, Chris Aceto. Chris, you and I were texting each other back and forth, and uh, we really thought this guy had it. What, what do you think happened? How can I answer that? I'm pissed. <laughs> yeah, you, I know you're pissed. Well, well, I thought he won. I mean, I thought I, I texted you because I thought it was like a return. You know, I thought he won. That's I thought he won, too. Know. What but do you think decided it in, in the other guy's favor? He couldn't make the, I actually couldn't make the argument from the win, the other guy. I usually try to make the argument. What, where do you make the argument? I mean, that's not to say I can't make the argument that he didn't look great, but to win, I thought Dusty was better. I thought overall he had a you know rounder package. I thought he had denser muscle. I thought he had. Uh, it was about 60 pounds heavier. Yeah, well, he, I mean, you can say that Dusty was not hard from head to toe. I mean, you know, he was hard. So let's put this show aside. We don't. We're not going to cry over spilled milk. He's going into the USA in about five weeks from today. What are you going to do different? I mean, the guy looks almost like perfection at this point. Gas it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, no, uh, you know, just don't do any, uh, you know. You want him leaner? Do you think he can be that, that much leaner? I don't really think so. I don't know if it would help him. I mean, it might get worse, you know, try to get, get flat or something. So maybe he can be a little bit bigger, you know. I mean, six weeks is a long time when you're in shape. So. Yeah, are you going to, you know, de-peak him, re-peak him? What's this, the plan? Um, yeah, you know, obviously you can't hold that peak. So just, uh, we'll see. We'll see. I, I don't know. I don't know. You know, you can tell that I'm still, you know. We have a disappointment Chris to see. I'm from it. Just, you know, tell me, make, make the argument that, that, the, that the guy should have won the show. And, and uh, The only thing I can see from Matt Loudon's perspective that it was he was harder. You know, he was very dry and, and grainy hard. That's good enough. Actually, that's good enough. You know, I mean, if it is what it is. I mean, that's a good enough answer. Well, we're going to see Chris Aceto. We're going to see uh, Dusty Hanshaw at the USA Championships in five weeks from today. Hopefully, he'll emerge victorious in the Super Heavy class and get that pro card. Guys, thanks a lot. Congratulations, man. Thanks a lot. Dave Palumbo, RxMuscle.com.